All right, guys, how are we doing today? So apparently there's a uh, a civil war-like situation in the uh, Venezuelan capital of Caracas. And uh, the Caracas security forces are saying that they will use weapons if they need to. They will use violence and they will use weaponry to suppress uh, any uh, militant rebels if they have to, if things turn violent. The situation down there is degenerating fast. Mind you, some of the Venezuelan National Guard are pro-coup. Others are anti-coup. Some are go-coup. No, just kidding. <laughs> this is just, you know, whatever. Uh, it's my sense of humor. But uh, Venezuela's defense minister has warned that the army would uh, resort to force if necessary. Amid the ongoing U.S.-backed coup attempt, as crowds of opposition supporters were filmed moving toward the presidential palace in Caracas. There is a quote stating anyone who comes to the presidential palace of Miraflores with violence will be defeated with violence. If we have to use weapons, we will use them. Minister Vladimir Pedrino Lopez was the person that can be quoted as saying this. He has also stated that uh, interim president Juan Guaido is responsible for any death on the streets while accusing the opponents of the Venezuelan government of seeking bloodshed. In short, it seems that the military is still largely in support of uh, Nicolas Maduro over Juan Guaido. And there is an ongoing investigation into Guaido's background as to whether or not he might in fact be a um, U.S.-backed puppet. Which, as I said in a previous video, I certainly consider to be a very real possibility. It fits our government's MO. It, it's something we would do. It's the typical sort of sneaky bullshit we, we, we do. With our counter-terrorism and economic manipulation. Install someone friendly to us. For our own benefit. That was normally something we would do in the Middle East. I'd probably say this is probably the first time I've heard of it being done in South America. I was not into politics and internet journalism or journalism in general uh, when I was younger. So I may not have necessarily heard about any incidents where in which we would have done something similar to this in the past in South America. But frequently in the Middle East. But uh, Venezuela, the article goes on to say that the Venezuelan law enforcement appears to be serious about using their weaponry. Uh, shortly after the minister's warning, a shootout broke out in the vicinity of the country's transport ministry in Caracas. Footage from the scene shows several police officers exchanging fire with unseen adversaries, said to be a group of gunmen, who local channel NTN24 said shot at civilians from inside the ministry. Inside of the ministry. So it's looking to me like th this shit is getting absolutely crazy. Right now there's a live broadcast uh, on this particular website showing a, uh, a, a relatively peaceful rally and, and a musical concert of some sort. Yeah, just sort of a, of a uh, general morale PR sort of thing. But uh, Lo Lopez has said that the small group of military personnel who joined the coup have been deceived. He also stated that the vast majority of the armed forces members who initially had sided with the opposition eventually returned to their units, barracks, and surrendered to their commanding officers. While the pro Guaido crowd was moving towards the presidential palace, supporters of President Nicolas Maduro had already gathered for a rally there, expressing their support for the government. If uh, Guido really is an American-backed puppet, a U.S.-backed puppet, which I consider still to be a strong possibility, it is possible, then we are, at least to some extent, our government, that is, not, uh, not the citizens, our government, is directly responsible in some way for the situation. If he is not a U.S.-backed puppet, uh, then, generally, then generally, I don't know what to do. Because 
the coup government versus the government of Maduro. It is a situation either that we created or we didn't. If we created it, we are responsible. That is, our government is responsible. And if we didn't create it, then what we are witnessing may be um, a nation that is dying, you know, death by civil war. Because neither one of these guys has sufficient backing to run a country with everyone supporting them. Some people are going to object. Some people are going to fight back. There doesn't look like there is going to be a peaceful resolution of the situation. In fact, I would say that a peaceful resolution at this point would be naive. It's going to end in blood, as far as I can tell. It is going to end in blood. It's either going to be Guido's blood or Maduro's blood. I personally choose to believe, based on the evidence, and I hate to, I hate to agree with the left on anything, but uh, based on the situation, it looks like, uh, you know, Guido could very well be a U.S.-backed puppet, which means that we are, that is, our government is directly responsible for the situation. Which really kind of makes me feel shame, ashamed to be an American at this point. This bullshit needs to stop. We have the right to put our country first, but not if it means screwing other countries in the process. Directly, that is. We have to draw the line somewhere. And if it's not our responsibility, it's still very sad. But I consider it very likely. Anyway.